Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Payroll here for your last lesson of the 2019-2020 school year. Give yourself a hand. That is right. You have made it through nine weeks of e-learning. And yes, it's been very hard. I'd much rather be standing in front of you than behind your computer screen. But something we have to do. So today's lesson, as you can see behind me, has something to do with the moon. Today we're talking about, watch this, ready? Here's my magic. Read it. That's right, we're talking about the lunar cycle. Now, somebody may ask, well, what's the lunar cycle, Mr. Payroll? Great question. Well, the lunar cycle is the change in appearance of the moon as it makes one full revolution around the earth. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. The moon does revolve around the earth. As we spin, it revolves and so forth. Um, so today, I'm going to go each face and show you pictures to help you understand. So make sure that you're paying attention, thinking about what it is, and looking at the pictures behind me. So without further ado, I give you the lunar cycle. Behind me, you see the first phase of the lunar cycle. And this is what it looks like uh, from Earth, right? This is, the, this is what they call the new moon. As you can see, we can still see the moon. It's not disappearing. It's not like, you know, it's completely gone. Uh, but just the lights being hitting from the other side. It's basically the moon is between the earth and the sun. So the light behind it, or the light that's supposed to be reflected, is actually getting reflected on the other side. So once again, first phase of the cycle, of lunar cycle, this is the new moon. Say that with me, everybody. The new moon. All right. And let's hop to the next one. <laughs> On to the second stage. This is known as a waxing crescent. Now, as you can see, it the, the lighted part of the moon is slowly getting larger. Um, it looks kind of like a crescent roll. My favorite type of roll, right? Uh, I got a little rhyme for you that I love to say to make me remember what a, a waxing crescent is. It is the light on the right is new and bright. The light on the right is new and bright. The light on the right is new and bright. Sounds really dorky, but it works. So as you can see, we have our light is getting larger. So we're going to move on to our next step in the lunar cycle right now. The moon behind me, this is what we call a first quarter moon. This is what it looks like from Earth. Uh, it looks like the right hand side is lit up. Think about this, from the new moon to the first quarter moon, that's like a quarter of the lunar cycle. So yeah, so now we're going to move on to the next one right about now. This right here is what we call a waxing gibbous. As you can see, more, more than half of the moon is lit up. The light kind of makes the shape of a football. So it's that simple, right? So as you can see, we're slowly growing, slowly growing, slowly growing. I wonder what comes next. Just wait and see. Ow! Right? Luckily, I'm not a werewolf because this, ladies and gentlemen, is a full moon. Behind me is a full moon. This is basically when the earth is between the sun and the moon. We get all that glorious light from the sun that we see. This is where the uh, this is where werewolves come out. This is where kids go nuts. This is the part of the lunar cycle that all teachers dread. The, the full moon. What? All right. But now... The lunar cycle is halfway done. 
and now we're slowly making our way through the cycle and the next one comes up right about now <sighs> kind of creepy out there welcome back this is what we call the waning gibbous the waning gibbous as you can see is uh the light part is starting to decrease. It appears to be more, more than half lit on the left. So we're now kind of in our uh, the third quarter part of our lunar cycle. So we have so we had the full moon. Now we have the waning gibbous, and I don't know what comes next. Let's let's hear what comes next, Mr. Payro. Thank you, Mr. Payro. Um, on on to our next part of the lunar cycle behind me you can see uh, this is what we call the third quarter or third quarter moon or last quarter moon um, because the moon in this section is three quarters of the way through its cycle as you can see it's a lot different than first quarter because now the left side of the moon is lit up right so now we you know we started a new moon from new moon we had first quarter moon from first quarter moon we had to full moon from full moon we have last quarter moon and then we have kind of another one next so take it take it away mr payro thank you mr payro you're very handsome by the way <laughs> anyways right so now we are on kind of our our, our 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 last part of the lunar cycle this is what we call waiting crescent as you can see it's like the waxing crescent but on the opposite it looks like a crescent roll again but it's on the left hand side instead of the right hand side so that you know and then what do you think comes next after this let's wait and see and here we are we have done a full cycle i am now standing in front of a new moon very exciting that was the lunar cycle now some people make it confused um but remember that the earth and the moon are not on the same plane. They're not, they don't sit side by side. The moon is off center of the earth, which was allow us to uh, get that light from the sun. So I hope, ladies and gentlemen, that you have enjoyed these videos. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for paying attention. Thank you so much for um, just being with us in these crazy times uh i hope these videos helped i know miss romero and myself put a lot of effort into a lot of these so um like i said great job uh we will miss you over the summer but i hope you have a relaxing and enjoyable summer i thank you we love you i love you and have a make sure you get your work done and this is your last one good luck all right i love you all and i'll see you all next year all right bye